Good day. Quality determination is probably the main question in our business. You must remember that customers are always wondering about the size and the presence of such chemical elements as carbon, silicon, copper, phosphorus, sulfur, nickel. There are a few ways to calculate the amount of iron. Visually, balance melting and water displacement test. The easiest and the cheapest way to determine slag quality is to do it visually. But it's not hard to guess that this way is very subjective, which is an obvious negative. It is entirely possible that you and your partner may look at things from different perspectives, so that's not always the best way. Using this method, you should remember that it's always a good idea to check with your customer first, to know if they're okay with the quality of the slag. Send photos of the slag to your customer to make sure it suits your partner's needs. When I'm on a business trip, I always use the opportunity to check the stock and talk more about the product. Balance melting means that you melt a certain amount of the product to determine the quality of the slag, the possible quantity of actual metal. It is an objective method due to the overall ratio of the usable metal. That means that even if you will be using one ton of top-notch quality material, in the end you still won't be able to get one ton of the liquid steel. Also, the quality of the metal tested plays a great part in the initial result. It is very rare that throughout the balance melting only the slag itself is used. As a rule, the portion of tested slug always comes with the scrap iron. So, for example, if the loaded slug comes with bad quality scrap, then the content you'll get will be of a lower quality. All of these proportions are mentioned in the formulas. In case you're present during the balance melting, it's always better to be in charge over the quality of scrap used during the experiment. When doing a water displacement test, you put the material into the water, your goal is to specify the volume and weight of the product. So knowing the scrap volume and the volume of the iron, you can determine the amount of iron. The results of the test depend on the quality of the product taken for the analysis. The samples should be identical to those found in the product you're checking. Also, there's no way of telling the type of volume to use in a formula, because the volume of converter and arc furnace slag is significantly different. Normally, we would look at 2.15 kilos to 3 square meters of slag and 7.85 kilos to 3 square meters of iron volume. As I mentioned in the beginning, material homogeneity and color impurities are the main factors the client is going to be looking at. The chemical analysis is done with spectrometers or X-ray analyzers. Please note that X-ray analyzers does not determine the amount of carbon and they're not capable of fighting sulfur or phosphorus. You must be absolutely certain that you can guarantee the proper quality of the product to leave your customer satisfied. Let me tell you what I like to do. First of all, I pay close attention to the type of production the company is involved in. I make sure that the production elements are homogeneous. When collecting samples, I try to take as much as I can. Sometimes up to 100 samples from different parts of the stock. And based on these materials, I'm figuring out whether or not it's appropriate. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to tell following things about the types of products the client may be interested in, three different ways of calculating the amount of iron and both positives and negatives of each technique. By now you should know about the volume of the scrap and iron, as well as the main chemical elements you should check. So if you find this information interesting and you feel like you could use it, I suggest you subscribe to our channel and press the like button if you don't want to miss upcoming episodes. Don't forget to check us in other social media, where you'll find a lot of useful information. If you have any questions, reach out to us and don't hesitate to ask, and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you for watching, I'm wishing you a prosperous business.